All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today, we're going to be looking at an exciting new technology that is a, a build off of the chat GPT that is just coming out and everybody is talking about it. Now this, I just got an email today from the owner of Write Sonic, and I believe Write Sonic was at one point a lifetime deal, might've been on AppSumo. You guys can answer below if that's the case, but they've since then gone on to bigger and better things and here they are. I believe they're getting almost 2 million visitors a month. So this is a legit business right over here. I have subscribed to them and used their tool to write blog articles as well. I since then for this review, just signed back up so I can get some good content from them and do a proper demo and review for you guys. So back to the email, what does the email actually say? Well, he emailed me and he said, imagine a smart sidekick with the power of an advanced AI, the knowledge base of a walking encyclopedia and the patience of an AI infused saint. Meet Chat Sonic. So just think about it. So Chat GPT, Chat Sonic, uh, Write Sonic. Write Sonic is their name, their name brand, right? Where you can write all kinds of AI content. Well, they're now they're going to basically be building a similar tool like GPT. Now I don't know if they're actually hooked into GPT, chat GPT to get this technology, but what they are claiming is that they're taking the technology from chat chat GPT and they're digging it to far bigger levels and they're they're like 10 steps ahead we'll see that in the demo right we'll see if that's actually holds true or not I have a demo video and everything but they're saying it's inspired by chat GPT they're giving credit but it's 10 steps ahead chat sonic can quickly answer questions search the web information and can even crack jokes they also say chat sonic can do everything that chat gpt can but it goes way beyond that it can generate actual accurate factual content on the latest topics including today's news so it actually doesn't stop at 2021 we're gonna we'll test that out you can also create stunning images that's cool too and chat sonic supports voice commands that's not a big deal to me but that's cool you can actually just tell it what to do so let's go jump in again this is from right sonic they just launched this on product hunt and so forth i will leave a link to this below if you want to go check it out and sign up here we are inside of the dashboard and i've already done some testing over here which is actually pretty crazy it's very similar to what you're going to get with the the chat gpt but i did do a test so I, I wrote some stuff right over here it gave me a nice blog intro and i'm doing some of the same tests that i did in my last video so that way i can really truly see what results it's going to give me versus what i got with chat gpt right so if you didn't watch that last video where i did a chat GPT tutorial. Go watch that one as well. It's really good. And I wrote a full blog article inside of chat GPT. Super cool stuff. So here's what the platform looks like. I'm going to reset it in a minute so you can see what it looks like. But You'll see over here on the left hand side, Chat Sonic. This is their brand new module in Right Sonic. You can go and they have all kinds of plans to meet every budget. And you can actually choose if you want premium quality content or if you want to go to like average or good or economy. If you're, if you're using this, uh, there could be some uses that you only need the economy. Then you're going to get, they give you way more content on your pricing plans. But right now we're specifically looking at Chat Sonic. So it wrote an intro, introduction paragraph about how to get rid of cellulite on the legs. But then I just wanted to see if you could actually tell it to write a full length article. So I actually said, write me a full length blog post with the title, how to get rid of cellulite on the legs, include H2 subheadings. And then I put a colon right here. What is cellulite? What causes cellulite? So I put all the H2s and I think there's probably a, just a few too many. And then at the end I said, I said, conclude the blog post with a conclusion paragraph. So that's a really big prompt that I'm telling ChatSonic to do. And it went and started, it went to work. Here's the title. It gave us an introduction. It gave us an H2 right here, okay? And then it gave us another paragraph. Then it gave us the other H2. Then it gave us another paragraph right here. Then it gave us an H2. Then it gave us a paragraph for that. So this actually continued all the way down. And I believe, so it went all the way in natural topical remedies right here. We'll come back up here right here. So it actually wrote all the way up to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's see, eight, nine. So it did about nine H2s and an, an introduction paragraph before it kind of cut off and just stopped, stopped writing. 
You can also highlight this right here and check the text right here with this little add-on. And we had almost 600 words that it wrote right out of the gates for us. So it, yes, it almost can, right out of the gate, write a full-length article for us. But I mean, if you're looking at 1,000 words, 2,000 words, the other tools that are designed to write full-length articles are going to do better for us. But I just wanted to show that you could actually do that. But I would recommend, based on my testing so far, is to write each H2 by itself, kind of, and let it do its thing. Okay, so we're gonna go and let's reset the chat. And this is what it's going to look like. You can go watch that demo video. Here's the capabilities. And let's go back over here and look at look at what chat GPT dashboard looks like, okay? Examples, capabilities, limitations. And then we come over here to chat Sonic and there they, it looks very, very similar. Write factual content on the latest topics, including today's news. So this separates them right here. And then you have other stuff, create digital artwork. So they made this look like chat GPT they don't, they're not using the same icons and they did change it up, but they are making it look kind of alike. You can also give it voice commands. It will create artwork for us and use cases, emails, articles, essays, all kinds of stuff. Super cool stuff. So if you want something that's a little bit more polished, then at Sonic is probably gonna be your bet, your best bet based on just testing right out, out of the gate. This one, um, Chat, Chat Sonic by Write Sonic, right? Is a little more polished and refined than the, you know, this is, but nothing against a chat GPT. It's ridiculously amazing software, but it's, it's in beta and it's free and millions of people are using it right now. So, you know, it's a simple to use software over here. So just a little bit more capabilities and a little bit more focus from the developers of Write Sonic with this new tool, Chat Sonic. Examples, which teams reached the quarterfinals in the Viva World Cup right here. We can actually go like that, but you have to check this box right here, include latest Google data. And that way it's going to be able to use, you know, current events, really current information. So it's gonna go do that. I'm gonna also go and look up like an NFL score. Let's go to NFL scores, the Dolphins and Chargers. I don't know if it can give us that score or not, but we'll, we'll try that out as well. Okay, so it just returned the response back to us and it is 100% accurate. That is insane. So if it can actually get, you know, has information of current events literally within the hour, it's giving us information right here. I don't know how they're doing this. This is insane. Come back over here and you can actually double check right here. Which teams made the quarterfinals right here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and I've double checked them, they're all right, and there's eight right over here, so super cool stuff. Let's also go over here and say, who won, and I don't know if it can do this, I'm just gonna try it. Who won the NFL game last night between the Chargers and Dolphins? All right, so I push enter, I don't know. We didn't put a year or anything, we just referenced last night. Let's see what ends up happening. I'm gonna come over here and check the score. We did have the Chargers one. Okay, so it does take about 20 seconds. It's thinking there's something going on in the background because it it's, it's not just spitting it out immediately, which is actually kind of good, right? It actually has to go and it's like researching the internet. But it says the Los Angeles Chargers won last night's NFL game against the Miami Dolphins 23 to 17. We come over here 23 to 17. And now we are be, we have reached a point where AI can give us factual information, which is insane, okay? Super cool stuff. I'm gonna come over here and do my other a test real quick since we're in chat Sonic. I'm gonna say, how much is 25 per hour annually? And there we go, how much is 25 per hour annually? And I'm just gonna sit here live. One thing that is a kind of that I'm noticing is that this is just, it, I mean, it's it's kind of taken a little while for it to give us the answer back. Not something that would like deter me from signing up to use the software or anything like that. But you know, for something like this, I would expect it to be able to answer pretty quickly. We'll keep testing the software, but let's see what it comes up with. This is another kind of test that I do to see how accurate the software is. But I'm pretty blown away. It answered these current events. This happened last night. This game la happened last night and it got, the AI got this right. So that is really, really cool. 25 per hour is the equivalent to an annual salary of $52,000 before taxes, insurance, 401k, and any other deductions. That is 100% correct. It's before taxes. 
your taxes and all that stuff's going to come out of that. You're going to end up pocketing about $37,000 of that. This number is based on 40 hours a week. So it got it right. Again, go back and watch my video from yesterday. You'll also see that I asked that over here in chat GPT, and it also provides the exact answer. So super cool, very high quality, very accurate information from both tools. So now let's go and do like maybe a test that I think you guys would be interested in. So we'll go something like write me an article outline for the top 10 best side hustles for for moms let's like really really get specific right there and let's just see what it can do for us right here with this extremely specific topic write me an article outline for the top 10 best side hustles for moms we'll see what it comes up with for us so, so far loving the tool, you know, I think that it, it kind of goes in phases right over here. We can also go and test. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. We may as well, while we're here, let's go test chat GPT, throw that in right there and see what it's going to come up with for us right here. And just kind of try to sit here live. So it's starting right here. Boom. Babysitting, pet sitting, dog walking, direct sales, freelance writing, virtual assistant, tutoring, Etsy shop, renting out a room on Airbnb and blogging. It gave us all those 10 and then we can go and start writing our article in here super cool stuff so here we go introduction overall overview of the top 10 best side hustles for moms okay so in our introduction we have side hustle number one freelance writing or ghost writing zimbini teacher not sure what that is but create a youtube channel etsy open an online shop write a book sell an online course become a tutor record conversations start a podcast sell custom shirts on print on demand store and conclusion summarize the benefits so then you would just take this right you would just take this right here and you would just go and paste that in and push enter and this is how you would just go and start writing your content it's going to go and write our introduction for us and then you would go and write your subheadings like that and so forth so this is going to work very similar. Let me show you the image the stuff that you can do as well. I don't think you can do that with chat GPT, like right here. Give me an image of a bear walking in the woods. We'll come. I'm sorry. I'm a text based AI and do not have the ability. So this isn't, there's no image right here. Here we go with the, the introduction over here, the top 10 best side hustles for moms, including starting a blog. Got all kinds of good stuff over here. I would specify, write me an introduction paragraph and you're gonna get a better introduction paragraph, right? But let's go over here and now go with the image and push enter, give me an image of a bear walking in the woods and let's see what happens here. Okay, so I didn't do that right. I need to say generate an image. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna try again. Generate an image and push enter. Now let's see what ends up happening because I'm now I'm telling it generate an image of a large bear walking on a dirt path surrounded by tall trees and lush green foliage in a wooded area. It did give us a really nice prompt. Now let's see if it gives us an image right here. I'm not getting it to be able to create the image for us. It's supposed to be able to create an image. I even went and checked out the, the video over here and it says generate an HD image right here and you know not getting the image to work right there but nonetheless i'm sure that i might be doing something wrong at the same time you are also able to go to photosonic over here and put that same thing in right over here and push generate and it's going to go out there and do that so i mean technically i mean if you have right sonic you're going to have access to this anyways and it's going to go out here and create like look at that it's a really nice image right there it's going to go out and create this image for you anyways Back over to chat sonic super cool stuff right over here this is really cool too so compare apple iphone 14 pro with iphone 13 pro so you can just click that and push enter and it's going to go and start writing for us as well to be fair i'm going to go this wasn't really supposed to be a comparison video but i'm going to do a couple of comparisons i'm going to come back over here and write it in here in the chat gpt with OpenAI. And I think it's gonna be just fine. I'm sorry, I'm not able to browse the internet or access current information about the iPhone 14 as my training only goes up until 2021. But it can talk about the iPhone 13. It's gonna give us information about that. 
So that's where it's going to fall short. And that's where chat Sonic really is going to, you know, take the cake for sure. The Apple, it handles this. The Apple iPhone 14 pro features a new dynamic Island, a slightly faster processor, a brighter screen, yada, yada, and iPhone 13 pro. And then of course you could go and in, go into more details by specifically, I would take one topic at a time. I want to do another test in here that we did earlier, like right here, who won the game last night in the NFL between the Chargers and the Dolphins. But it's going to tell us no, it doesn't, it doesn't know because it's not going to be able to do the current event stuff, right? So again, not really faulting this because this is not the, the engine is specifically tells us that it doesn't, it's not trained past 2021. So this is where I don't know how right Sonic is doing this, but they must've been working on this months and months ahead of time as well for them to be able to come out with something that is the same or a similar to chat GPT language based conversation based, but then also be able to answer questions that just happened last night. And I showed you that's factual. This is insane. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if I had to compare the two, right, Sonic's chat Sonic would win based on it being more polished, based on the capability of it, based on that you're, it's able to grab information from like current, like an hour ago, probably. And so, but this one, the only downfall and the where chat GPT is going to win is that, you know, it's free right now, but I don't think it's going to be free for long. This is the technology and this is what you're going to be paying for. These tools are going to be coming out. It's going to look like this, but I think chat Sonic wins for sure. But again, it's a paid tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is really, really cool. I'm excited to jump in here and start creating some content. I'll go and create some blog posts using both tools and do some testing for you. And I'll come back with updates. So that's a reason to subscribe to subscribe to LearnWire so you can get updates. I'm one of the only channels that I'm seeing that actually, if not the only channel that actually writes content with these AI tools that I'm telling you guys about. And then I actually come back and I show you, oh yeah, it's ranking. It's ranking on page one. So really cool stuff. Thanks for joining a link below to write Sonic. If you want to try out chat Sonic, I've got a link below. All right. Thanks guys.